How's it going, y'all? Welcome back to the episode of the Sinead TX. Another year has come, and with that is another July 4th week. Yeah, that gives you an idea of how far behind I am. It's currently the middle of October. And just like last year, as you may remember, I am not out on the boat fishing the lakes because July 4th, pretty much the entire few days, like that five day span around July 4th, kind of from the second to around the fifth or sixth, I just don't mess around going out there because the lakes are so freaking jam packed and crowded. It's just not even fun to be out there fishing. So I love to get back to my roots and do a little pond fishing and no better place to start out with than the place where we did this last year. I've not been back to this pond in over a year. So I thought it'd be special to kind of come back out here for the one year anniversary of making that July 4th video last year where I got screamed at and the cops were calling me. Why not start it back out the same place we did last year? I'm gonna start off with showing all the fishing from today and even kind of the, you know, the days around right now because I'm gonna be doing some more pond fishing hopefully this week, so we'll add those into this video as well. But I've also have a bunch of pond fishing over the last month or two saved up on my computer that I wanna show to you guys. It's great to get back to my roots. We catch a lot of good fish, maybe not a ton of just freaking giants, but really fun, interesting content that I wanna post to you guys that I hope you'll enjoy. So with that, guys, we're gonna get into fishing right here at this pond behind me. Definitely a little bit more dried up than last time, but should still be fishing good hopefully and then we're gonna kind of get into a whole video of just pond hopping compilations back to the roots the kind of stuff that really bass fishing on youtube was founded by so with that folks hope you enjoy today's video let's go catch some fish well dang y'all it's been a minute since i last fished this place literally almost exactly a year since i last fished this pond i've only fished it one time before but it was a hell of a lot bigger <laughs> last time i fished it it's lost a lot of water like where i'm standing right now is originally where the water was like this cove you have a decent amount of water in here yeah this place is a lot lot smaller than last time that's what a year of drought will do to a place like this unfortunate but there are some fish in here we caught a couple decent ones last time so we're gonna fish it for a minute here today see if we can get anything Please, no snakes. There's a large e right in front of me on the bank here. Let's see if we can get them. He's looking. Oh no, he followed me right out. Right as I pulled it out. Dang it, he followed me right up right as I pulled it out. Oh! Swiped at it, missed, got it that time. Got him, that was so cool. Yes, sir, that was so sick. Oh my gosh. I walked up here with the frog because I was gonna take a cast across the bank and then I saw this largemouth sitting down there. Went back, grabbed the Senko. He looked at it the first time as I pulled it out, went right after it, put it back in there and the fish got it. Ooh, angry, aggressive fish. That's not a bad one. Those fed would be easily two pounds. It's plenty long enough to be. Honestly, might be just shy of it regardless. Especially for the fish caught in here last time. That's pretty solid largey. Hell yeah, dude. Coming right out of the little brush pile here. We'll see you later, fish. There's going to be a fish over here. There's just no doubt. Oh, oh my gosh. You okay, buddy? Oh, I'm so sorry. I did not think you were that small. How did you, A, how did you get hooked, but B, are you okay? Yeah, he just, just got me in the finger, just by me, so I think this fish is okay. Well, there's number two. Just gave this fish the frickin' ride of its life, its young life. I am so sorry. God, I'm so sorry, fish. Let's get you a good release. You deserve it. Fish swam right off, man. They're, they're tough MFers, I will say that. These large mouth are hella resilient. That's a trout or something, it probably dies, but Jesus, dude, I feel so bad. <laughs> Holy cow, that's when the, you know, aggressive hook set. That's when it hurts you, is when there's tiny little babies. There we go. I knew there'd be at least one sitting over here. Didn't think it was gonna be the small again, but <laughs> I knew there'd be one. Buddy got a leech on him. It might be a leech. Oh yeah, that's a leech. Great. I'm gonna grab my pliers real quickly. This fish has a little leech in its mouth. I'm gonna rip this thing out of here. Alrighty, there's the fish. Little dinker. The third of the day. We got a leech out of him. Made to save your life there, buddy. Alright, back on the sidewalk. I'm heading back towards the truck. We're done fishing that pond. Fish about an hour. Caught three fish. 
pretty much exactly the same as what I did last time I was there. We're heading to a new one and I'll see y'all there. Oh, dude, there was a good size one sitting right there. There's like a three pounder sitting right there. I've never even seen a fish that big in here before. Right as I walk up, legit three pounder sitting right there. No freaking way. Don't see it now. Took me too damn long to get my stuff untangled. But there's one right there. All right. It's not a three pounder, but we'll certainly take it. I think the three pounder was the other fish in there that spooked. We'll take it though. At least we got one of them. There were several fish sitting up by the bank here, and at least we got one of them. No! made a perfect skip back in there fish blew me up but you didn't get it thank you picked me clean indeed he did all right let's throw the frog hang on oh no dude i made such a money cast back in there skipping it fish blew it up but did not get it There's a fish. Wow, my rod just freaking snapped in half. Wow. That's $250 rod and I set the hook and it snaps. Wow. Just dead center too. That's some dude. That's horse at its finest there's the fish at least we got it but that rod just flat out snapped dead center i just got this thing too oh that's gonna be so fun trying to get a refund on this i gotta i gotta do it though 250 dollars rod just straight up snapped dead center not to mention i didn't hit a thing there's not a tree there's not nothing that i hit that is bull Oh yeah, now you know when you got a fish, trust me. It's like that's a bite right there. Got him. See, I mean, not a big dude, but we'll take him. Little one pound pond bass, number six. Oh gosh, that's a good fish, dude. It out of nowhere. It's a solid, it's like a two and a half pounder, bro. <laughs> what? That was such a casual hook set. He like ate out of nowhere. He, like I barely even felt him pick it up. I was just like casually talking. There we go. Number seven, it's a little over two pounds, I would say. It's probably one of my best fish of the day. Heck yeah, dude. That's a healthy fish, especially for a little pond like this, to see him this healthy in here. You gotta love it. Number seven. See you later, my friend. Yeah. That's a good one. Nice, dude. Oh, come on, fish. That's one of the bigger ones in here. Let's go. Let's go, dude. Heck yeah. I haven't been stopping much along the way, but decided to stop this pool because I know there's some bigger fish in here. And we got ourselves one. Crazy thing is too, this is a male. It's a good sized fish for a creek. There we are. Sorry buddy, you're bleeding a little bit, but you'll be good. There we go. For a tiny little pool like this, that's not a bad little bass, honestly. Fat, chunky female. There we are. See you, girl. There we go. There we go. Nice fish. 
Nice one, nice one, nice one, nice one. Nice fish, dude. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here we are, man. Oh my gosh, it's crapping out a crawfish as I speak. Fat, chunky, probably three pounder. Pooping out a crawfish. <laughs> That's crazy. Later, fish. There we go. Um, what the hell? I foul hooked a sunfish through the side, like fully through the body. Holy cow, dude. How does that even happen? He should be all right. These are pretty hardy little dudes, but wow. <laughs> On my way back in, that didn't have to catch fish that way. Alrighty, folks, we are back at a pond that we have not fished in a long while. One of my favorite golf course ponds of all time to fish. This place is freaking loaded. I've caught so many big fish over the years out here. We got, as you can probably tell from the skies, pre-storm conditions. It's going to storm real bad here in about an hour and a half, two hours. So we're trying to get a little bit in before that happens. There's a fish cast number two. Number two, yep. There we are. Second cast, folks. Nice little bite over by those reeds over there. Little female. Cast number two. That's a good sign. We about to get on them. Oh, that's a good fish. I got a big one. Yep, biggin', biggin', biggin'. This is like a four or five pounder, Pierce. Woo, baby. <laughs> Dude, it's a stud. It's like a four, I think. There we go, dude. Look at that. <laughs> That's probably close to four, I would say. Might be a little shy. It's not as long as I thought it was, but big head and she's fat. When I set the hook, I literally, like the reel handle wasn't turning. Solid fish right there. Not as big as I thought it was, I'm being honest, but it's so right around three pounds, how fat she is. Oh, That's a nice fish for fish number two. See you later, girl. There we go. Another one. This could be a good one too, bro. Hey, she's solid, it looks like. Oh yeah, another nice one, dude. God, this is bigger than the last one. Fishing here just so solid, dude, jeez. It's another like two and a half, three. Woohoo! look at that pretty girl. It's just incredible how healthy the fish in here are. Beautiful. Big thick shoulders, nice colors, eating well. And they're all so freaking fat, they fight so damn hard. I can't tell if they're uh, can't tell if they're a two and a half, three, or if they're like a five or six, because I mean, these fish are like two and a half, three, they fight like a five or six on like a lake, for example. Another one, back to back. Back to back, yes. Oh, that's a little dude. <laughs> back to back though. He ate it like he was big because I thought it was a little bigger, but nope. There's first slash. Dude, do I have a fish on? God dang it. It's gonna be gut hooked for sure. Just been picking a backlash out. I'm guarantee this fish will be gut hooked. Oh no, it's not. Whew. Thank God. Solid fish right there. Pound and a half. I got lucky the hook point was still like he, he went completely through us. So I was able to just grab it, cut the line, and pull the hook point out, and it was easy to get out. Literally no damage done, not even bleeding. That's awesome, dude. Swims right off. That's lucky though. That's really lucky. If they've been here since 12 and didn't get kicked out, then Yeah, we're chilling. <laughs> Did you see that? That was so cool. I was burning it back in and it blew it up top water. That was so sick, holy cow. Fish number one at the new pond and that is a freaking epic eat. My gosh, not even throwing a top water lure but it was a top water eat. Beautiful fish, not to mention. 
See you, pal. No, dude, that was such a. That was actually a good fish right there. Do I still got him? I, I think I don't know if it's the same fish or if he came back. I'm not sure. I don't I don't know what's going on. I think I'm hung up, bro. I think I'm hung up. Do I have him? I'm so no, I think I do have him. He was just down in the weeds. No, I got him. Yeah, okay. I was about to say that was a good hook set. <laughs> I think what happened, yeah, it's a, it's a tiny fish. He blew it up. He went right down the weeds, so I didn't feel like I had him. But now he's there. What in the world, dude? That's so wild. <laughs> God, on the frog, yeah. Like a pound of grass on him. There we go, though. Frogfish. Hell yeah. All right. Hopefully, buddy can get back out from here. Come on, man. There's got to be a fish right here, right? And what? They just don't get it, dude. I told you there'd be a fish, though, huh? Yeah. I knew there'd be a fish. Just saw a tiny little largemouth swim by. That right there gives me just a little sliver of hope. Has to be some fish in here. Just no shot. There's not. There we go. No wait. I actually got one. Yes. Yes. Is it even a largey? No, it's not. What in the world kind of bass is this? I don't even know what kind of bass this is. If I'm being honest. Look at those markings. Is it maybe a little shoal bass? I don't know if there are shoal bass here. I don't think there are. That's neat, dude. It's not a smallmouth, I don't think. It's got like some little blue colors. There's a ton of different little micro species of bass you can find in these in these creeks, and this is clearly one of them. I'm so hyped I got one, though. We're deep in a rural creek in Alabama, and I've got a fish in my hands that I can't identify. That's so neat, though. We got one out of here. Awesome, dude. We've been working real hard. This creek is trash. There's... Not very deep water, so not a lot of fish, but we found ourselves a little bass of some kind on the end rig. And he's gone. Okay, I found my species. It was kind of what I was thinking it was. I don't know if I actually said it on camera, but I was thinking in my head that was a red eye bass. I was kind of thinking it due to the red eye, but I didn't know just because the turquoise colors on its mouth. That kind of threw me off a little bit, but I looked up pictures of red eye bass and they all have the turquoise on their mouth. Super neat, dude. Oh, I had another one. <laughs> There we go. Another red-eye bass. Yes. Let's go, dude. Sweet, man. How cool is that? Little red-eye bass. Now officially my second number one. See you later, buddy. There we go. Nice. Coming on the Ned rig. There we go. Golly. Aggressive fish. Got him. Yes. That was so cool. <laughs> I saw his bass sitting right there. I slowly just pulled it up to him and he crushed it. Set the hook and it ripped him straight out of the water, but there we go. Oh man, I keep dropping my fish today. Jesus. Number three. There we go. Another guy. Man, he ate it like he was a good size. Sorry, buddy. <laughs> set the hook like you were a 10 pounder. There we go. Number four. I literally set the hook into that fish like it was a 10 pounder. <laughs> it was about a, about a less than one pounder, probably a 10 ouncer.
Man, we just have an absolutely beautiful, picturesque afternoon here to do some fishing. It's just gorgeous. Could not have asked for the weather. There we go. Nice. Ate it like he was big. Just a little, dude. But we'll take him. That's cast number three. Nice. See you, buddy. That's a good one. Yes, sir. Nice, nice, nice. Nice. That's a solid one right there. There we are. This is just these solid, consistent chunks you get in this pond. It's like a two pounder. They have the body of like one and a half pounders, but they're just so thick and healthy. They're always at least like two, two and a half pounds. In all my years of fishing, I'm just yet to find a pond that consistently grows as healthy and as nice of fish as this one does. Just a beauty. Come on the caffeine shed. I'll see you later, my friend. they're gonna get spooked or he's gonna eat this he's sitting right in the shadows over here let's get to fire it up oh got it yep that was so cool yes sir he was a little bigger than i thought he was too i won't even lie beautiful beautiful she was sitting right in the shadows right next to that little cauldron i knew she was there flipped up on it and she ate it right away i'll see you later friend Got it right away. Yes. Oh, and he popped off. Dang it. Should have slipped him up. Ripped my tail off, too. That was about the same size as the last one that was sitting there. God, I got one all the way the hell over there. God. Still has not even surfaced. What in the world? <laughs> just a little dink that's crazy <laughs> no wonder he didn't surface i was just ripping his ass across the pond but he ate it all the way on the other side and while he was i mean only the tension was keeping him hooked the hook literally wasn't even hardly through his mouth little dinky number five that was really wild all the way across the pond On the swim bait. Just moved spots when I did. Got bit first cast, threw it back in there. Got bit second cast this time. I wish I got him though. Little friend, but count it number six. See ya. There's a the fish. There we go. That might be a big one. I can't tell. Oh yeah, nope, that's a good fish. I don't know if it's like two pounds or if it's like four pounds, but right now he's got about four pounds of mat on him. God. Dragging in the entire mat with me. I guarantee it's like a two pounder, but it's definitely a salt fish though. There we are, okay, yeah, good fish. Alrighty, hook is out, there's a fish. Nice solid guy right there, say a little over two pounds. Let's get him back. I had him out of the water for a second, trying to remove that hook. It was in a really easy place to get. I just have really crappy pliers, so it took me a second. Didn't even need it. Just ready to go right away. Dude, Jesus, how small are these fish? Come on, bro. Bet you ripped the tail off too, didn't he? No, nope. Okay. Give me a little bigger guy, come on now.
Give me a Bertha. Give me a freaking Bertha. Oh, someone just blew it up. Someone just blew it up as I was running it out of there. Yep. That might be Bertha. That might be. Go get out of the grass, bro. It's got a big old wake on it. Oh yeah. No, it's not Bertha, but it's a good fish. <laughs> These fish just fight so hard and there's so much grass, you can never really tell how big they actually are. Fish blew it up and started running with it. It's probably the best of the day, I would say. Hell yeah. <laughs> They're clapping for me. <laughs> That's funny, man. I didn't realize they were there. There we go. Beautiful. It's calling for a little bigger fish. We got it. Twitched it twice off that shoreline and buddy blew it up topwater style. Hell yeah. One more double digits. See you later, friend. There's a bat. There we go. Okay, not too big. But that is number 10. There we go. Little girl number 10. See ya. There we go, that's a bigger fish, I think. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, it's just a little guy who ate it in weeds. Literally a copy and paste fish of the last one, but hey, I'm not complaining. Fish to fish. <laughs> I love how I hooked this. I thought it was big. That's so funny. No way. Fish followed it all the way up and crushed it right there. I was getting ready to turn the camera off. Oh my God. When he ate it, I thought he was big too, like just from the eruption it made. These little fish keep surprising me, man. That was the most ferocious seed I've ever seen from a fish. That's literally about eight inches long. 13, golly, they're crushing the swim bait. Oh, there's a fish. Yeah, that's actually a good fish. He didn't eat like he was all that big either. That's a good fish though. It's a nice fish. There we go. Hell yeah, dude. It's about a two pounder right there. Yeah. Solid. See you later, bud. Oh! Good fish just ate me right there, dude. Oh. That was so cool. I saw him come up and eat it. That was so sick. <laughs> That was so cool. I don't know if the GoPro would have seen that, but yeah. that was sick. Holy hell, my heart like skipped a beat. Dude, that's always so cool when you see him actually fishing. Yeah, number two. Let's see a fish. Yeah, I like the whole there we go. First cast with the swim bait over here. Dude, I'm telling you, I want to Yeah, swim bait's crushing them. That's two fish on it now. Oh man, dude. Damn it, fish. Well. I think he released himself. There we go. See you, bud. Yeah. Sorry, buddy. Didn't even realize you picked it up. That's number two. Little tiny pond males. Through the mat. <laughs> oh my gosh. That is so much fun. Holy cow. There we go. Very first fish on the new frogging setup. That was really, really fun. Man, I stuck them almost too good. That was really hard to get off. There you go, little buddy. Well guys, there you have it. That is my pond hopping compilation from over the last few months. Definitely something a little bit different, not my usual style of video, but I do have a couple more compilation videos to go. But next time, rather than ponds, it's gonna be fishing out in a lake. And that lake is Lake Travis, a place I fish all the time. I've done compilations out there in the past. I've got another one coming for you guys very, very shortly that I'm working on currently. Let me know if these kind of videos you guys enjoy as well, because normally I go out 
and have just like a day of fishing, kind of a story style video. These are more of just a bunch of clips I've stockpiled into one video all combined together. If you enjoy these videos, I'll be more than happy to make more of them in the future, just like the one I posted today, the one I'm gonna post here very, very shortly. With that though, guys, thank you so much again for watching today's video. If you did enjoy, remember to leave a like and subscribe to Fishing and Ticks if you are new. Also go down below and follow me over on Instagram. That is linked in the description. With that guys, thank you again so much for watching yet another video. I will see you guys next time back out on the water.